Welcome back. In this session, we're going to edit point line and polygon feature classes. So we'll start, we'll create a fishnet and just create a fishnet called squares.shp. Give it an origin of zero in the X, zero in the Y, and then the Y axis will go straight north south. And then each po polyline have a width of one and a height of one. We'll have two rows, two columns. And then we'll make points and polyline. And then OK. And that will create two new shape files that we can work with. So let's start working with the points. So we've got four points. So right mouse click on your points layer and select edit features, start editing. And then we'll select a template that we're gonna edit. So we're gonna edit squares. So if we double click on that, that gives us a template and then just OK. So now we can add points. Um, we could do whatever we want. And we've got this new editor toolbar. And for example, if we look at our table, it's open so we can actually type in ID values for each point. So ID 10, 20, 30, and 40. whatever you want for your field values. And then these changes are not permanent unless you go editor, save edits, and that saves your work up to that point. So I could go editor, undo, or control Z, and it will undo whatever we've just done. So it undoes, that was a 20 in it. So control Z, undo it, etc. So control Z, undo all the way to the back. And if I go stop editing, none of my edits are saved. So usually it's a good idea to make a copy before you start editing. So if we go to catalog, let's give our square points uh, version one. So we'll rename it to be version one, and then we'll copy that. So right mouse click, control C, copy paste. So copy and then in that same location paste and we'll call that version 2. So right mouse click rename it as version 2. So that's what we're going to edit. So if we go back to our table of contents let's remove our original one and we'll add version 2. And then we could right mouse click edit feature start editing and then pick the template we want to work with. So we want to work with these squares. So once again, we can edit a table and we could directly enter the new ID values for each point. So ID of one, two, three, and four. And then once again, nothing is saved until we go editor, save edits. So now we've got this is permanently saved in that shapefile. And our table's open, so we could we actually have an open table. So if we go um, add field, we're not allowed to add a field unless the table's closed. So if we go editor, stop editing, then we could add a field because the table's closed. And I'll add a text field called name, and we'll give it a length of 16 as an example. Okay, so we'll take the text point and then we'll add ID and it will be treated as a text. So that gives us point one, point two, point three, all in this new field that's a text field. And then we would go editor, save edits to save that. So that's how we can work with tables. Instead of using the field calculator and selecting one row at a time, we could enter just manually whatever values we want to enter. And once again, if you make a mistake, control Z backs up and then we could go save our edits. Okay, this tool on the editor toolbar is for selecting features. And then once you've selected the features, if you right mouse click, you can delete those features, you can copy them, 
once you've got them selected, you can move them, you can do whatever you want. And then once again, if you make a mistake, just control Z to undo what you've just done. So basically we could, um, for example, select this point and then right mouse click and then edit vertices. And then see what the XY coordinates are of that point and we could change it. So for example, let's change the Y value to a two and then basically it jumps up to a Y value of two. And then once again, to save your work, you would just go save edits. Okay, so right now we're missing a point at a coordinate of 0.5 in the X and 1.5 in the Y. And if we go to our data frame properties, under general, we could specify what the units are for these XY coordinates. So let's specify the units as being in millimeters just to do something different. And the display is in millimeters. So now if we point, it just tells us those XY coordinates are in millimeters. So we want to put a point at 0.5 millimeters in the X and 1.5 millimeters in the Y. So if we go to our Create Features window, select the template, and then select the construction tool. So here we're going to put a point. So we'll just place a point and then right mouse click and then give it the absolute XY value. So we're going to give it an X of 0 0.5 and a Y of 1.5 and then press enter. And then we'll save our edits. So now that point is at that location. And then once again, we could select the points that we don't want and then right mouse click, delete that point. And right mouse click, delete that point, and then editor, save edits. Okay, in a similar manner, if we want to work with these lines, we'll copy and then paste. So we have a backup copy. And then we'll rename our lines version one and version two. So this one is our version one, which we're not going to edit. And this will be our version two, which we will edit. Okay, so once again, if we want to work with these, turn them on to see them, and then right mouse click, edit features, start editing. So we need to first turn off, we're editing right now our points. So editor, save edits, editor, stop editing. So then we can edit our lines. So start editing. And then once again, we could select a line and move it, delete it, do whatever we want with it. So I'll grab this line and just move it up. And then select this line and delete it. And select this line and delete it. And then once again, if we go to sketch, create features, we would select the template we want to work with. And then we could create lines using this construction tool. So I'll pick the line. And let's say I want to put a line between the points. As I get closer to the point, it's smart enough to snap to that point. And it says it's snapped to that point. And then if I go straight, it'll snap to that point. So then if I right mouse click, snap to feature, so snap to that point. And then right mouse click. Um, if I want to put another line, I could say I want either the absolute XY or a delta XY or a direction and length. So I could give it a direction of 90 and a length of 1. And then once again, as I'm creating lines, it'll show me what it's snapping to. So it's snapping to the end point of that line, snapping to the edge of this line, it's snapping to the end point of that line. So double click says you're all done. And then once again, if you don't like what you did, just control Z to back up. Okay, if we're gonna use direction and length, if you go to editor and then option, 
what you want to do is specify the direction type as being north azimuth. So then zero would mean go straight north, 90 would mean go east, 180 would mean south, 270 would mean west, etc. So once we have that, we can go and input our line. So we'll snap to this point and then right mouse click. It doesn't matter where you are, just right mouse click, direction and length. So we're going to go straight east, which is 90 degrees direction, and we will go 0.5 millimeters. So now that line right at that red dot is 90 degrees east, 0.5 millimeters. So once again, we could right mouse click direction and length. And this time, let's go 90 degrees again, and let's go 0 0.5 for distance. Okay, so now our line is at that red square. And then once you're satisfied, you would right mouse click, it doesn't matter where you are, and then finish sketch. And that finishes that line. So that's one way you can create lines is just specifying the direction and length. The other way is you could just snap a line from this point to that point and then just right mouse click, finish sketch. And then from this point to this point, right mouse click, oops, click on that point, and then right mouse click, finish sketch. Or you could snap and then just double click. And then once again, we would go editor, save edits. Okay, and then we could grab this line and move it down until it snaps, and then editor, save edits. Okay, the other thing we can do is edit polygon. So let's get our original square lines and we'll convert those to polygons. Okay, so we'll use a tool feature to polygons with our original squares, which are polylines, and convert them into polygon shapes. And then just OK. So now we have our square polygon. So I'll remove our original polylines. And then we could edit these square polygons, but once again, we should make a backup copy before we edit these polygons. So I copied it and now have square polygons version two, and that's what we're gonna edit. So I'm gonna remove my original square polygons and then we'll edit these polygons. So once again, right mouse click, edit features, start editing. And then we have our create features window, the template that you wanna work with. So we have polygon, rectangle, circle, ellipse, autocomplete polygon are the, the most common ones used. So then we could say, well, let's select um, this polygon and right mouse click, delete it, and then editor, save edits. So now let's say we need to put in a new polygon replacing that one we just deleted. What you could do is grab the polygon tool and snap to that vertex. Right mouse click, absolute XY. So what's the XY coordinate of that location? The 0.5 in the X, and I think 1.5 in the Y. Okay, it's not, so I go control Z, and let's try a zero and a two. So absolute X of zero and a two in the Y. And then we could put a corner of our polygon at that location, and then a corner of our polygon at that location, and then right mouse click, finish sketch, and then save edits. Okay, so let's say we want to replace this square with a square that has a hole in it. So I'll select it and delete it. So I'm going to select it and then delete it. Okay, so let's say we want a square like this and we want a hole in it. So in this case, we've got a hole 0 0.2, 0 0.2 to 0 0.4, 0 0.4. So the origin here is 0, 0, 
and the coordinate here is 1, 1. So using the edit tool, I select this polygon just to get rid of it, and then right mouse click delete. So what you would do is first make the polygon, and then second, make the hole. So to make the polygon, what we would do is snap to that vertex, and then snap to this vertex, and then snap to this vertex. And then we need to go down to zero, zero. So I right mouse click, absolute X, Y, zero in the X, zero in the Y. So that creates our polygon. And then instead of right mouse click, finish sketch, if you right mouse click, finish part. So that is a part of the polygon. And then we can create our hole inside that polygon using this same tool. So I right mouse click, absolute X. So we'll start at point two in the X and point two in the Y. And then right mouse click anywhere, absolute X. And this time we'll go in the Y will remain at point two. And in the X we'll go over to point four. And then once again, anywhere, right mouse click, absolute X, Y, this time it'll be 0.4 and 0.4. And then we'll finish absolute X. So this time in the Y is 0.4 and the X will be 0.2. And then what we'll do is say right mouse click, finish part, and that part becomes a hole in that polygon. And then we can simply say right mouse click, finish sketch, and that finishes our entire sketch. So now we've got this polygon and it's got a hole in it. And then just save edits. So now if we calculate the geometry for our polygons, we would stop editing to save our work and then we'll add a field for area. And then we'll calculate geometry for each polygon. So what's the area of each polygon? So this polygon now has an area of 0.96 because it has that hole in it. And we could go to properties and numeric and pad with zeros. So that's the area of this polygon as opposed to this polygon has an area of one. Okay, so that's probably enough about editing to get you started, and that's what we're going to do in this week's lab.